द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इंट्रोडक्शन टू सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन ह्यूमन बींग्स द रेस्पिरेटरी गैसेस एसेंशियल न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड एक्सक्रीटरी प्रोडक्ट्स आर ट्रांसपोर्टेड थ्रू द बॉडी थ्रू अ फ्लूइड मीडियम कॉल्ड द ब्लड द सिस्टम थ्रू व्हिच द ब्लड इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड इज कॉल्ड द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ द ब्लड blood vessels and the heart blood and plasma blood blood is a connective tissue several types of blood cells are suspended in light yellow colored fluid medium called the plasma plasma the plasma consists of 90% water along with digested nutrients The essential nutrients are carried to the cells and waste products are carried away from the cells by the plasma. Fibrinogen and globulin are important proteins present in the plasma. Blood cells. The plasma contains three types of blood cells. They are erythrocytes or red blood cells, RBC leukocytes or white blood cells wbcs thrombocytes or platelets erythrocytes or red blood cells erythrocytes or red blood cells are the most abundant cells in the blood they are produced in the red bone marrow present in the long bones rbcs are biconcave discs without a nucleus mature rbcs have a life span of 120 days hemoglobin an iron containing protein is present in these cells it gives the rbcs their characteristics red in color leukocytes or white blood cells leukocytes or white blood cells are lesser in number and larger in size than the rbcs they have a distinct nucleus but do not have a definite shape wbcs do not contain any pigment and are colorless wbcs are of two types granulocytes and agranulocytes granulocytes is further subdivided into three parts neutrophil eosinophil and basophil and egg granulocytes is further subdivided into two parts lymphocyte and monocyte neutrophil helps in phagocytosis eosinophil fights against parasitic infection basophil produces in- inflammatory and allergic reactions lymphocyte produces specific immune responses monocyte fights off bacteria viruses and fungi WBCs destroy the disease causing germs and protect the body from diseases thus they provide immunity to the body thrombocytes or platelets they are very small in size these cells do not possess any nucleus and help in clotting of the blood thus preventing the loss of blood from the body mechanism of blood clotting When there is a cut in a body part the platelets activate the soluble protein fibrinogen to convert to insoluble fibrin fibrin forms a mesh around the injured part in which the blood cells are trapped thus a clot is formed and the cut is plugged functions of blood it transports oxygen and carbon dioxide between the tissues and the lungs it transports nutrients from the esophagus to different parts of the body the blood carries stored food material to the tissues or the organs where it is needed blood transports metabolic waste products to the excretory organs to be removed from the body blood maintains water balance in the body it protects the body from infections It regulates the temperature of the body. It helps in clotting and thus prevents excessive loss of blood. Blood 
blood vessels. Blood is circulated in our body through a network of blood vessels. These blood vessels are of three types. Arteries, veins, capillaries. Arteries. Arteries are vessels which have thick, muscular and elastic walls. These vessels carry blood away from the heart. Blood flows under high pressure in the arteries. Hence, they do not have any valves in them. All arteries carry oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery, which carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Veins Veins have thinner walls than the arteries. These vessels carry blood towards the heart. Blood flows under low pressure in the veins, hence they possess valves to check the black flow of blood. All veins carry deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary vein which carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Capillaries Capillaries are extremely thin blood vessels which form a network of connections between arteries and veins. Exchange of nutrients, waste products and gases takes place between the cells and the blood in the capillaries. The heart. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest cavity right between the lungs. It is enveloped by the pericardium. The heart is divided into four chambers. Two upper chambers called auricles or atria and two lower chambers called ventricles. Blood circulation. The right auricle carries deoxygenated blood from different parts of a body and pumps the blood into the right ventricle. Pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for exchange of gases. Gases include oxygen and carbon dioxide. Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left auricle from where the blood flows into the left ventricle. The aorta is the main and the largest blood vessel. It carries oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to different parts of the body. After it gives up its oxygen, the blood now low in oxygen is again returned to the right auricle and the whole process of blood circulation is repeated. Double circulation. In one complete round, the blood passes twice through the heart in two separate but closed loops. This is known as double circulation. The first loop in which the blood flows from the right ventricle to the lungs is called pulmonary circulation. In this circulation, the blood gets oxygenated and returns to the left auricle through the pulmonary vein. In the second loop, the oxygenated blood flows from the left ventricle to the vital organs and body tissues and returns to the right auricle. This is called systemic circulation. Pulse The beating of the heart may be felt in the superficial arteries at the wrist as a regular jerk called the pulse. This is due to the continuous pumping of the blood by the beating of the heart. The normal pulse rate of an adult human being is about 72 times per minute. The heartbeat increases during exercise, fever and emotional disturbances. The pulse can be measured by using an instrument called the stethoscope. Blood pressure The force of blood against the walls of the blood vessels is known as blood pressure. It is maximum when the heart contracts and is less when the heart relaxes. The pressure of the blood when the heart contracts is called systolic pressure. 
and the pressure of the blood when the heart relaxes is called diastolic pressure. Blood pressure is measured using an instrument called sphygmomanometer. The normal blood pressure in an adult is 120 by 80 mm of HD. A rise in blood pressure above 140 by 90 is called hypotension. Blood groups. The surfaces of RBCs contain a variety of protein molecules called antigens. There are two types of antigens, A and B. On the basis of the presence or absence of these antigens, four types of blood groups, A, B, AB and O have been identified. Thus, if the RBCs of a person have antigen A, the blood group of such a person is A. If the RBCs have antigen B, then the blood group is B. If both antigens A and B are present on the surfaces of the RBCs, the blood group is of AB type. If there are no antigens present, the blood group is of O type. The blood plasma also contains antibodies which are a part of circulating plasma proteins. Antibodies are also A or B depending upon the type of antigen present. Blood transfusion The transfer of blood from one person to another is called blood transfusion. The person who donates the blood is known as the donor and the person who receives the blood is called the recipient. During blood transfusion, the blood of the donor is matched with that of the recipient. This is known as blood group compatibility. In an incompatible blood transfusion, the antigens of the donor's blood are attacked from the antibodies of the recipient's blood, resulting in serious illness or death of the recipient. A person with a blood group AB is a universal recipient and a person with a blood group O is a universal donor. Resist factor Besides the regular antigens, there is one more antigen called rhesus or Rh factor that determines the compatibility of blood transfusion. A person is called Rh positive or Rh negative depending upon the presence or absence of the Rh factor. Rh negative people do not have an antibody in the plasma against the Rh factor. If the blood of an Rh positive donor is transfused into the Rh negative recipient, the recipient develops antibodies against the Rh factor. Repeated transfusion of Rh positive blood to such a recipient may become fatal. Fact Rhesus factor was first discovered in Rhesus monkey and hence the name. Thank you.